Welcome, dear viewer, to Might and Magic Elemental Guardians with me, Jelanon. Leave a like if you enjoy, etc., etc. I'm going to try it out. We'll see how good it is. We're going to accept. All right. Oh, Maggie, hello there. Hi, I'm Maggie. Isn't it brilliant being admitted to Academia, the most prestigious school of magic in the Seven Cities? Hello, and welcome, students, to Academia. I am Professor Urillin, which means Song of the Stars and Elven. We're just going to call you Bubbles, okay? Yeah, I think that's a fun name for a professor. I've heard that around here, everyone calls her Bubbles. I'm eager to know why. I, I think we know why, Maggie. That name. That name. I'm the school's dean of students. Lucky you. You'll be seeing quite a bit of me. Every now and again. I'm also your instructor for air magic, which means I'll be your supervisor for today's field trip in the floating islands, where you'll be undertaking your first test, a trial of air. Your first task is really trivial. I just need you to obtain a nymph, one of those flying spirits, you know. Okay, then. So let's find some nymphs, right? Let's catch it. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's common here. Here's where you select the creatures that you will use on the battlefield. Ooh, we start with a griffin. Nice. Okay, it looks like we can have up to three team compositions. <clears throat> and we have an energy bar to keep track of. Okay, and we can auto battle. This reminds me quite a bit of Summoner's War in the way the artwork works and how it looks like you can speed up battle or do auto. So let's learn the basics. Okay. Blue bar is the creature's speed. Yep. Okay. Skill. Target. Aw. Adorable. Adorable and deadly. Hmm. The hidden magic of your staff has been unlocked. Now you can unleash your power. Oh, so we have summoner skills. Or magician skills. Okay, let's use this. Attacks all enemies. So I think you need to select enemies just gives you a chance to pull back from choosing that attack, which is nice. Oh, look how cute that griffin is. We've got a nymph, okay. This one is a support creature, makes sense. All right then. And you can spin around your creatures apparently. Oh. And they do tricks that you tap on them? Huh, weird. Okay, so air, support, symbol. She's got a flash attack, a gift of the light, and heal. So air seems pretty related to light magic, too, I guess. Hmm. Alright, levels. Let's go find some more levels. Bravo, you've captured the nymph. Now put that theory into practice. Glyphs are coalesced magic, refined from dragon blood veins and nexuses. Or nexi, maybe? Mm -hmm. The creme de la creme of arcane enchantments. Ooh, look at me with the big words. In simpler terms, they're pretty color symbols to make your creature stronger. Easy peasy. Now, toodaloo, you'll all have fun glyph hunting. There are different glyph types with various benefits. Each region yields a different type of glyph. Oh, and we can skip all that. That's nice. But yeah, so... Basically, we're going to have to add more glyphs and things to power up creatures. Yay, another layer of collection. Just what I wanted from a free-to-play game. <laughs> oh, well. Colored indicators. Okay. Yeah, that's very similar to Summoner's War. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing we deal more damage to the blue guy on the left. Yeah. Okay. Disadvantage to the middle dude. So earth is good against air, air is good against water, fire is good against air, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. I love the attack animations in this game. They're very pretty. Okay. So yeah, our griffin seems to be more of an attacker. The nymph is definitely more of the healing, protecting sort. Let's use our summoner skill. 
This is wave two of two, so might as well. Then we can use. Let's uh. Let's try to paralyze somebody just to see if there's a different animation. Maybe a little bit different. Ooh, double attack. Nice. Okay. Level up and a new glyph. Let's take that glyph. And I guess we're going to go equip it. Good job, students. This glyph is your first step in an exciting journey. Let me show you the best way to obtain creatures. Okay. A soul stone, eh? Hmm. It's the spiritual quintessence of a magical creature. Big words again. Basically, it's a beautiful shimmering thing that you consume at the summoning gate, and voila! A new creature appears bound to you. From the stone itself. Boink. Oh, We got a wolf curb. It's an earth attacker. Okay, it's got bite. Torment claw. Hmm. So not quite as good as our griffin, which can automatically double attack. This one only has a 30% chance of double attacking, it looks like. Uh, okay, that can decrease speed. Hmm. Well, this is your lucky day. Here's another soul stone for you. Not all stones... Not all soul stones are created equal, you know. The purer the magic inside, the better they look, and the stronger the creature they summon. I don't know. I mean, I kind of like the green. You know. Maybe it's just a preference thing. All aesthetics. So subjective. Stone Guard. Now you look tough. You have a defender tag. We have a slash. I'm guessing a taunt. Disturbing slash. Okay. Hmm. And then that decreases their attack. Okay. Honor Barrier. 75% chance of taunting for one turn. So not a full taunt yet. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get our missions. Great job. You completed your first missions. They give incredible rewards. Okay. That makes sense. I want to level up. Gather round, students. I have bad news. Unfortunately, there's been a slight accident involving Professor Dyson, your water magic teacher. A slight accident? I heard he's been sucked into a rift into the spirit world that he himself created. Perhaps, but accident has a nicer ring. And we don't want you to get in a tizzy and all. A substitute teacher is already on the way. She's a naga from Shanria, the hidden city. I'm sure you'll like her, unless you're allergic to snakes, of course. Anyway, thing is, Mr. Belcath has ordered the academic staff to investigate the matter, and that includes me, obviously. But the good news is your trial won't be interrupted. Sandro, our head boy, and I must say, brightest student, will guide you through the last tasks. Um, thanks, Professor Urillin. Well, first years, it's time to prove yourselves and see whether you're worthy of your place here at Academia. Spread out. From now on, you're on your own. Show me your best. You won't see me, but I'll be there, watching. Judging. Don't forget to engrave your glyphs, students. A glyph with no engraving is like tea without a scone. A poor, sad, bitter thing. Okay. Ooh. Today we got 8,000 crystals. Hmm. And it looks like we will be getting more over time. I want to know what the thing on the sixth day is. That looks important. Hmm. Okay. Well, there are events as well. Inauguration day, I'm guessing. Yep. Guarantee you a rare creature. Mission one. Oh, so we have daily missions with these. Hmm. Rank up one creature to rank three. Upgrade with five turns. Evolve one creature. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to do all that, but we could try. Ooh. So if we complete all this, we get a legendary soul stone. Summon your four stars creature. Summon, summon 150 creatures of two plus stars? Wow. I have a feeling that's going to take a while. Coming soon. There's another event. Okay. Good to know. Well, they basically introduced us to the game, and now we have stuff to do. That's our daily reward on the top left icon, that's our inbox in the middle, and a lottery. Hmm. This is the school lottery. I came back just to tell you about it. You can get great rewards here. There's a free one every day. So make sure you put it to your timetable and, you know, do notifications and stuff. 
So scratch images till you get three of the same. Okay, what do I want though? So it looked like it automatically opened a couple, but okay. Oh, seals, that's what those are. Then seals let you play the lottery again. Huh. I bet they do more than that, but they probably know how to... Oh, that gave us more seals. If you want more resources, you can do stuff, okay. Unlocks at level 15, level 6, level 6, marketplace. What's this? The menagerie. This is where we can check out all our creatures. Cool. Looks like there's a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Uh, there's the adult griffin. Okay. So it looks like it remains at two stars the whole time. So that's interesting. Okay. Any other soul stones we can summon from? No. And seals do let you get epic soul stones. Okay. We do have a chest, apparently. Uh, up to two items in there. Let's open it, see what's in there. Alright, come on. Okay. Energy and small potions. Hmm. I wonder if uh, energy stacks, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be sad. It looks like it does stack, so that's good. Um, anything else over here? No, that's the soul stones again. Uh, my brain. Okay. We got more crystals, so that's nice. That's probably how we uh, level up creatures and stuff outside of combat. So let's check out our creatures. Manage our glyphs as well. So we have a glyph here. We got a vitality glyph. Yeah. Glyphs are not solitary beings. They like to be grouped together in sets. Let's make a menage a trois to get an additional bonus for your creature. Menage a trois. Sorry. La la la. Okay, do that one. Okay, so these are common glyphs. Three glyphs of the same type. Okay, it gives us plus 20% HP. That's pretty nice. Okay. We can upgrade this glyph as well. Yep, crystals. Okay. Maybe there's a chance of failure? Uh, I don't like that. I'd rather just keep paying until it levels up. You know, like have a payment method, then it levels up. Uh, this one helps our speed, so why not? Okay. We got that. HP, attack. Um, I don't think we need to worry about it. Honestly, spending it on common runes was probably a bad idea. But oh well. Um, any other runes we can give? Are there easier ways to find runes? Or were those all of our runes? And glyphs. Okay, well, let's go back. Check out the missions board. Get some more stuff. Level 2. Energy's been refilled. And we've got achievements. Okay, let's save the XP for later, maybe. Let's make sure... Yeah, it looks like it didn't add to our energy at all, based on our cap. It did increase our cap, but it didn't add on. So uh, it's better to level up after you've used your energy. So let's do some more battling then, because it looks like you don't want to level up till after you've used your energy. What's at the Dragon Mist Islands? Ooh, dungeons to be found here are priceless. You can find evolution materials. Hmm, and they change every day. Elemental Tower of Fire! Um, how high level should I be for this? I feel like I should be higher level than this. <laughs> View enemies. Okay, looks like, what, level 5? Level 10? Well, wave 3? Hmm. Well, we can try it. It's probably a bad idea. But, yeah. This is all about trying the game. So let's see. You can just try to auto it as well. Let's speed up the combat. Can do any faster? Nope. Three times speed is the total. So yeah, they are level five. So that's that's nice that they do tell you what level you should be trying to be at. 
And there are five waves, oh. I think I only saw three on the little mini-map thing, so I must have missed scrolling through it. And does the summoner attack automatically? I missed that. Uh, what's my summoner doing? Okay, so not yet. So he must have used it and I missed it. So yeah, we should definitely level up for this. But it looks like it will be doable pretty quickly. Okay, and our center looks like he's in the ready position. Probably waiting until there's more than one foe. That makes sense to me. Okay. Nope. Well, I thought this was the last guy, but looks like there are two waves after. Yeah. Looks like they do start you out with pretty decent creatures for the stuff you need to farm at the beginning. So, that's good. Okay. Maybe we can use our summoner attack on auto? Yep. Okay, we do. I like the music, too. Okay, looks like we will actually be able to get through the fifth wave if things continue as they currently are. Then again, that poison's really taking down our taunt guy, so that's pretty bad. Yep, that's significant. Okay. So, we probably won't make it through this. Oh, nope, okay. What level is this dragon? 15? Apparently it's part of the map, but... Oh, okay, yeah, it is 15. It's at the very top of the screen. Wow. Yep, we lose. <laughs> ah, well. This was a fact-finding mission, and I think we found several facts today. So, alright. The at least level 5 seems to be <laughs> a good fact that we have found. Give up. And you can give seals to do stuff. You still get XP, though. Ooh. Level up or upgrade your glyphs. Yep. Makes sense to me. Fast battle mode is disabled. Ooh, but we can enable it. What does that do? Huh. Okay, well, let's keep it disabled for now. Uh, now, let's go to levels, and then we'll figure it out from there. Thanks for watching, dear viewer. I'm going to keep on keeping on. And maybe I'll show off a couple more things. Have a great day.